It's time for today's health. We kick off another series of which workout works. Joining me this morning to talk about another workout or exercise plan that just may work for you is Lori Head with Mind Your Body. Yeah, Not that. Mind Your Body. Oh, I don't know what my problem is with that. It's okay. Relax. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started. We've been doing, we're starting this series this week of which workout works, kind of highlighting some different plans for people than just their usual whatever they might be doing to stay and keep that healthy lifestyle. So today we're going to focus on mind your body and kind of yoga and Pilates and what they do for people and um, kind of the benefits, the pros and cons to these exercises. Well, I think you have to remember that there's a mental side and a physical side. So both benefits like yoga for mentally depression um, and then being with people I think it's, if you always stay in your house and do your little videos the social aspect you've got to remember to get in there and choosing a studio and we were just talking a little bit um, just the access so if you have 40 stairs you have to go up for a hip replacement or a knee replacement that wouldn't be a great thing to do mm -hmm. physically you've just got so many things you've got range of movement strength flexibility uh, the breathing takes part so you start to get the cardiovascular so um, you know, I, I'm a testimony. I think I feel better every day the more I do. And you can't exercise eight hours a day. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that. Or shouldn't, really. That's mm -hmm. not necessary either. So um, it just, you know, it depends on your lifestyle, where you live, um, you know, how much time you have. And then you've got to find the right, some people just click for Pilates. Mm -hmm. So it's probably a little more talkative. And yoga, uh, if they've had a really busy day when people come into a yoga class, it's a nice settling technique. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I have played sports my entire life. And it wasn't until I moved to Utah that I kind of started getting into Pilates and I always looked at it and I thought I'm a sports player that won't do anything for me that won't work my glutes or you know and so I went and I did a class and it was killer and so tell people uh, about the kind of the whole physical aspect of it that even though it's a slow paced and kind of a meditation type exercise tell them how it actually really works and works those well, muscles. Um, very isolated muscles so if you just want to target your Achilles tendon, I could do that. Or um, especially machinery and floor work too. Floor work gets hard because it's usually group classes, mm -hmm. so sometimes that individual attention is not there. So you have to pay more attention to the cueing of the instructor and then also just pay attention to your own body. The equipment puts you in place, like for one example, on a reformer, the shoulder pads push your shoulder down and keep your neck real straight. So, so this is great for a lot, not only for the alignment. physical health aspect, right. but as far as alignment, your joints, muscles stabilization, just all of those different things exactly. that kind of target. Yeah, and it's the test of time. I mean, it's in 1920. Mm -hmm. It was invented by Joseph Pilates, so it stayed around. So Okay, now real fast to wrap up, are there some things people should use caution for um, if they may have any medical conditions or anything like that? Well, I think, um, you know, first of all, doctors release if they're surgery or something, but like a disc problem, they shouldn't be twisting. So that's not a good thing to do. And uh, again, wait the recovery time. If you do have an injury, um, just use common sense. I think that's the main thing with anything that you do. Okay, well overdue. thank you yeah, so welcome. much, Lori. We're out of time. We'll have these details on our website or if you'd like to get in contact with Lori, you guys are in downtown Pocatello. It'll mind your body.